is structurally significant because of its design particularly and also because of the materials that went into the home. The walls are of concrete uh, pushed in uh, with um, native uh, sandstone and limestone pushed into uh, the, the wet concrete. The basement foundation is concrete with rebar inserted in the wet concrete. And Mr. Thompson said that it was really a job to get the stone ready because some of the boulders from around here that were used were as big as the axle of a little car and had to be broken into small bits uh, before they could be uh, inserted into the wet concrete of the walls. You can see that it has two turrets with parapets, uh, arches on the inside. The turrets are crenellated, and one of those turrets can be entered only through a trap door. The Franklin's son, Armand, was a well-known figure at all Northeastern ball games, and Mr. Franklin and his sister, Mrs. W.E. Sanford, owned the Redmond shop for many, many years. The Redmond shop, as you may recall, was um, a bookstore, the first bookstore really, for the university in Tahlequah, and also a confectionery and a shop of great interest. Mr. Franklin's son, Armand, uh, ran the, the Redmond shop with his wife, Althea, who was a high school teacher, for a number of years. And I think it's interesting because um, I like family trees for you to know that Armand's wife, Althea, was a herring before her marriage to uh, Mr. Franklin. Not a herring from this community, from down around Poto, and her parents were teachers. So a teaching ran in the families bo on both sides. After uh, Mr. and Mrs. Franklin passed away, uh, Armand and his wife, uh, lived with their family in this house. And then after Armin was gone, Mrs. Uh, Franklin, uh, Althea, lived here for a number of years and then decided to move nearer to the children and so the house was for sale. Another interesting point about the grounds, which are very, very lovely, is that on the corner of North College, just to the west of the house, at one time was a stone duplex of the same stone as the house. And in this stone duplex lived two wonderful women who were faculty members at Northeastern. One of those women was Professor Fanny Baker, a professor of languages at the uh, at the uh, university. And the other lady was a professor of home economics at uh, the university, Miss Pearl Crawford. Those two ladies shared that uh, uh, duplex for many years. At some point after they were no longer here, that duplex uh, was torn down. You will note that the windows are either 4 over 4, double 4 over 4, 4 over 4, are double six over six. And these windows are metal in construction, are the original structures, and were placed in the house at the, at the time it was being built with uh, window sills of concrete. The chimney is also faced with concrete embedded with the native stone. These windows opened out and were a part of the circulation system in the 30s when air conditioning was not done. You will notice that the borders around the flower beds are also of stone embedded in concrete. Mrs. Franklin worked with her flowers a great deal. The Franklins also were friends of the Bedwells. Mr. Bedwell and Mr. Franklin were on the Northeastern staff at the same time. And since Mr. Bedwell was a botanist, I feel sure that they exchanged uh, notes on plantings. You'll notice a small a magnolia tree coming up in the bed now, and there are native um, trees on the lawn. It is a well-known fact that Mrs. Uh, Franklin also enjoyed hanging baskets, as did her daughter-in-law, and so the house always featured hanging uh, baskets near the front entrance during the summer and spring time. As you can see, the garage was built to uh, mirror the construction of the house with turrets that are crenellated and the uh, form of uh, making the structure of inserting rock into uh, concrete. And so uh, it was well thought out. 
it is my understanding that at the time the house was being uh, started in 1929, Mr. Franklin was asked how much he thought the structure would cost. And he thought at that time that it would probably cost $10,000. Now, whether it cost more or less, I don't know. But I do know uh, that it was not completed until the Depression era and finished in 1934. Mrs. Uh, Althea... Franklin, the widow of uh, Armand Franklin, the son of the of the senior Mr. Franklin and his wife, said that at the time the construction was to begin, Mr. Franklin asked his wife, what kind of a house would you like me to build? And she said, oh, build me a castle and left the room. And so that is exactly what he did. He built her a castle. I think it, we're going to be very excited as we walk into the house and see some of the construction there.